the Western Front can't have failed to have been impressed by the memorials which are there, and we've seen a picture of one of them tonight at Teepal. The other one, of course, is the Menin Gate and the memorial at Passchendaele at Tyne Court. It's an impressive sight and it's a sobering thought. What's equally sobering, of course, is that when you walk round the actual battlefields of the Somme and the Ypres salient, is that in effect you are walking on a mass grave because the number of unknown soldiers who are still lie beneath the surface, of course, is impressive and those are the ones that are on the memorial. What's equally impressive is the amount of metal that still lies under the surface in Passchendaele area and, 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 and on the Somme. And I have a picture, I, I, have, I wasn't aware that I was going to perhaps be speaking tonight, but I, I have a picture of my wife standing in a field on the Somme next to a howitzer shell, which is only 10 and is about that high. And that has been ploughed up by farmers actually doing, going about their, their normal day-to-day -day activity. If you walk on the Somme, and indeed in, in the Eve salient, and you walk along the sides of the fields away from the main tourist areas, you find along the side of the fields a tremendous number of shells which have been ploughed up by the farmers and placed alongside, and every so often the French authorities come along and take them away and blow them up. But the thousands of tons of shells which must still be under there are really impressive. And of course in the early part of the, the, the piece at the end of uh, 1918, there were a tremendous number of casualties in France and on the Western Front generally from the French peasants who went round with chisels and tried to take off the brass <laughs> off the end of, of, of shells and a countless number of them were killed because they were trying to earn a few sous, I suppose, from, from rescuing the the the, uh, bron the the brass that was that was that was still on the on the shells. What I wanted to just show you very briefly was that walking round the battlefields is quite an interesting experience away from as it were the tourist areas because walking around these very peaceful fields now, you come across an awful lot of the metal artifacts, which, as I say, are ploughed up year after year by French farmers. And one of these is not exactly this one, but as a, as a story that I'll explain in a second. My wife and I were walking along the side of a field near uh, Albert, which is, which is on the, the, the um, um, uh, salient the, the Somme salient, and we spotted in a, in a ploughed field something like that. And we picked it up, and of course that is the first thing you should never do if you go on the battlefield, you don't pick up live ammunition. But we did, we put it in the boot of the car, <laughs> and we took it to a man, that a Frenchman that I know knew in Pozier, who was well known for his little French museum of battlefield artifacts. So we took it to him, and we took it very gingerly out of the car boot, and I handed it to him, and I said, what do you think? And he went, boom! And he took it off me, and took it round the back of his cottage, and threw it onto a pile of other ammunition that was there, all live. And very, very kindly, he then went in the house and came out with this, which was an exact replica of the, the grenade, German grenade which we had found in the, in, the, in the fields. Just to finish, one of the very sobering thoughts as well, uh, there's a, a, a nose cone on there from a shell, and I have at home a number of shell fragments, quite sizable pieces. And it's a very sobering thought that we tend to, to remember soldiers who are, or, or who were shot with the sniper bullets and rifle bullets and machine gun bullets and so on. But it's a sobering thought if you hold a piece of shell case metal in your hand and feel how heavy it is and realize that these things were also flying around the, 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 the air at the same time 
which could have taken your arm off, your head off, or your leg off. Quite a savouring thought. Thank you very much.